Follow the Money initiative has criticized both states and federal government for lack of transparency and accountability in how it spent COVID-19 funds. Executive Director of Connected Development Code, Hamza Lawal, disclosed this during a mega town hall meeting to provide stakeholders information on how government spent COVID-19 funds. Lawal, despite acknowledging spending by government to cushion the effect of the pandemic on citizens, says there is no adequate data to show for government spending. He also said the refusal of the government to share detailed information citizens has created uh, to citizens rather has created a mistrust and as well the spread of fake news. So far, Follow the Money has tracked 96 billion naira for COVID-19, but at the state and the federal level. Some of our key challenges is the fact that there is lack of data on contracting information and the various beneficiaries of these resources. We also acknowledge the fact that 33.4 trillion dollars have been unlocked by the Ministry of Finance to provide uh, to cushion the effects of COVID-19 in country. We also acknowledge the fact that the Central Bank of Nigeria has spent over 1 trillion naira to provide stimulus package for small businesses and for poor households. In all of this, one thing that we don't see is a proper coordination in the utilization of these resources and detailed expenditure both by government. It's also important to acknowledge some state governments that have provided information at the public domain. One other challenge is the fact that fake news have caused mistrust between government and citizen. And government is complicit in this uh, uh, fake news because government is not providing real-time information so that campaigners and activists can use this information to counter misinformation and disinformation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.